Dolphin is KDE's file manager. It is a simple looking feature rich app that lets you easily manage files, folders, and any connected storage drives. While you have it as the default with KDE Plasma Desktop, you can try it on any other desktop environments if you know what you're doing. This is Ankush from It's First, and I'll be highlighting some of the best tips and tweaks for the Dolphin file manager. Tip number one. It's super easy to create new documents in Dolphin. You just have to access the right click context menu from anywhere within the app and navigate to create new and you will find options for specific types of files, whether it is a text file, an empty file, an HTML file or a LibreOffice document. Everything is a click away. Of course, you do not get this ability with Nautilus file manager, which is a bummer. Tip number two, enable split view. I know a lot of you may be using it, but if you did not know about it, get started using it. You can toggle the split view using the button on the right side of the toolbar. With the split section, you can easily open different directories or folders and drag, drop, copy, paste, anything you need. You get to perform file operations faster, saving you multiple clicks and time. Isn't that nice? Tip number three. If you want to access a directory folder through the left sidebar on the file manager, also known as the quick access section in some file managers, all you need to do is right click on the folder and click on add to places and it should show up. Tip number four, enable selection mode. Sure, you can hold the control key and select files for multiple selections, but it's annoying if you do it wrong and lose all the selections. So you can enable the selection mode in Dolphin file manager from the hamburger menu on the top right and then click on select files and folders option. With this mode, you not only select things you like, you also get quick file actions buttons like cut, rename, copy, saving you additional clicks. Tip number five, don't want to navigate through the directories in the same tab? Well, just hit the control key and then click on any of the places in the left sidebar. It should open them in separate tabs. So now you do not have to go back and forth anymore. Tip number six, show additional panels. By default, Dolphin limits to a couple of panels to give you a clean look, but you can enable different panels and different views in the same screen if you want things like that. If you want more information at a glance, when you click on a file, add the information panel, where you can see details like modified date, dimensions or resolution of a video file and more. If you want to be able to access the terminal and perform file operations via the file manager at the same time, enable the terminal panel, which lets you do that. Tip number seven, for users who love the list view, you can add more column elements to your view. Simply right click on any existing column name and it will give you the checklist to enable or disable more column elements. Whether you want to audit system activity or just forgot what you accessed last time, just right click on the back button that you see on the top left corner of the window and you will be shown the list of directories you accessed previously. Tip number nine, did you accidentally close a tab in the file manager? Well, you're in luck. Just like in a web browser, use control key plus shift plus T keyboard shortcut to restore the last one. Or head to the hamburger menu in the dolphin file manager, then access the list of recently closed tabs from the option. Tip number 10, occasionally, you need to verify the integrity of a file you downloaded. To verify its checksum, you can right click on the file, head to properties, then navigate to the checksums menu and paste the checksum value in the field that you got from the official website of the file. If it matches, it will show you that. Tip number 11. Did you copy an image from the internet and want to directly save it to your file manager? You just need to open the target folder you want it in and hit Ctrl plus V or access the right click menu to click on paste clipboard contents 
and you will be prompted to select what kind of file it is, the file name and once you enter it, hit OK. Oh wait, you can also just drag and drop the file from the web browser's window to your file manager. That's convenient as well. Tip number 12. Do you often search for a particular file or content frequently? You can add that search term as a quick access button. To do that, simply use the search button and search for what you want. And then hit the save icon in the right side corner of the search bar. Now it will appear as a search entry in the left side bar. You can just click on it next time you want to search for it. Tip number 13. The Dolphin Find Manager is a capable utility. So it makes sense when we do not know the meaning behind every menu item there is. But there is a quick way to know what an option does. Just hover over the menu when you're accessing an option and press the shift key. It will give you an information card for what it is. Tip number 14. Want to copy a file location or an absolute path to the file? Just select the file and hit Ctrl Alt plus C or use a right click menu to select the copy location option and you're done. Tip number 15. We've been accessing the context menu to do lots of things. Did you know that you can also configure it in the Dolphin file manager? Head to the configure option from the hamburger menu and click on configure Dolphin. This will give you access to all the tweaks for the file manager including the context menu. Head to the context menu tab in the left sidebar and then toggle add or remove options you want in the menu. Tip number 16. Not just limited to the context menu. You can also tweak the left sidebar. Simply right click on any of the entry to get the option to hide it. And if you perform the right click on an empty space in the sidebar, you will get the option to add a new entry. Tip number 17. You can also add image manipulation options to the context menu within the file manager. However, for that, you need to install a plugin called KDE Service Menu Reimage. You can find it from the KDE store using the web browser as shown here. Next, you need to download the dev file for Ubuntu based distros and get it installed. You can use QAPT package installer to do it without errors an additional installer for Qt based systems. And once that's done, you will get to see additional items under action option of the right click context menu for image manipulation. And that's it for this video. Of course, KDE's Dolphin file manager offers a lot more when you explore. So what are your favorite tips and tricks that you use when using the Dolphin file manager? Share with us in the comments down below.